Hi everyone. So now we will talk about navigation with the React Native, and these are the points. We will talk about what is navigation, types of navigation, and uh, I'll give you the example of each of these navigations. And at last, we will cover some important interview questions also. Let's start with the first one. Ah, one more thing, guys. Ah, uh, this is basically a theoretical part of uh, React Native navigation. Here we are not going to implement any practical example because. Firstly, I want to tell that what is navigation, how it's work, examples, and where we should use tag navigation, where should you, where we have to use drawer and tab navigation and all, right? And from next video, we will uh, start implementing the uh, practical example on the navigation. We'll create separate video for tag, drawer, and tab navigation, and we'll create one or two video for styling, nested navigation, and uh, animation and all. All right. So let's start with the first question now. Uh, the question is, what is navigation? So see, guys, whenever we are creating any application, we cannot cover or all content of our application in a single screen. We need different different screens. For example, we need one screen for login, another screen for uh, sign up, another screen for profile, another screen for home page and listing, and so on. Right. So, how we can move from one screen to another screen with the help of navigation module, right? So, when we are jumping from one screen to another screen, we can say that we are navigating between the screens, and there are the three ways to navigate from one screen to another screen. First one is stack, second one is drawer, and third one is the tab navigation. So, let me show you the example. So stack is basically a simplest navigation when we have a button and on the own press of that button we want to just move or you want uh, we want to jump on the any another screen that time we can say that this is a stack navigation for example from uh, first screen when you just uh, press on the next there is a uh, login screen and whenever we are just pressed on the uh, sign up then we got the sign up screen and let's say we just uh, press the login button then we will uh, be on the home screen so this is behave like a stack right one screen after another screen after another screen so that's why we we can say that this is a stack navigation all right and the simplest thing and i hope you all just uh, seen in the different different application right for uh, any application where we need the credentials or username and password we, there we use basically where we are uh, moving from home page to uh, login to sign up and home screen and all, all right so after that drawer navigation so if you guys are using uh, gmail application then you can see that uh, from left top corner there is a hamburger icon and whenever we are just pressing over there this kind of uh, navigation is populated right and we we can call it drawer because this is look like a drawer right okay so uh, let's say we have lots of menus in our screen for example home detail contact list logout products uh, clients and salary and all right so because we have lots of uh, menus so we that time we can use uh, the drawer navigation right and uh, if you will check the gmail there is a lots of options like uh, uh, send mail inbox spam mail and lots of other things so in when we have lots of menus we can use drawer navigation and we want to simply move from one screen to another screen that time we can use stack navigation last one is a tab navigation and example of tab navigation is whatsapp so most of us probably most of us uh, using the WhatsApp application, right? So here you can see that we have the uh, different different uh, tabs for the different different features. Uh, for example, uh, we have option for call, community, chats, and status, right? So uh, when we have just few options, uh, that time we can use the uh, tab navigation. And in the tab navigation, tabs are always constant with the all screens. Uh, one tab will highlight like uh, here you can see that tab 0 is uh, highlighted there and other are not activated or you can see that the disable kind of thing right but th this area will always be constant there the below area will uh, move with the one screen to another screen 
and this is not mandatory that the tab navigation will be always on the top it could be in the bottom also right so these are the three types of navigation and from next video we will start with the practical example of stack navigation so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section and this is my paytm number for donation thank you guys